Hi, my name is Steve Blyle and I'm a welder. Wire feed, in one form or another, has become the standard of the welding industry. And with the development of less expensive welding machines, it's now common in all types of repair shops, on farms and ranches, and even in home shops. There are quite a few different manual and automatic wire feed processes. We'll be looking at gas metal arc welding, which is often referred to as MIG. This process uses a continuous solid wire along with an externally furnished shielding gas that protects the molten weld metal from coming in contact with the surrounding air. The weld puddle and weld buildup are very controllable and the finished weld bead is virtually slag free. This process was first used in industry around the mid 1940s to speed up the production welding of heavy aluminum plate. A solid metal wire was used with an inert shielding gas either argon or helium. This was referred to as MIG for metal inert gas. The characteristics of the inert shielding gases did not work well for welding on carbon steel and this process did not become widespread until new wires were developed and used with either carbon dioxide or a carbon dioxide argon blend. Because carbon dioxide is not an inert gas, the term MIG is technically incorrect. Everybody still uses it. MIG welding is a very familiar term, but the American Welding Society has designated this as the gas metal arc welding process to include all types of solid wire and shielding gases. Now, wire feed welding does have the reputation for being real easy. It might be a little more accurate to say that it's easy to get started. In any type of electric arc welding, the distance that the arc travels between the electrode and the metal called the arc gap, is extremely important. With wire feed, when the voltage and wire speed are set correctly, the welding machine automatically maintains a constant arc gap, even with slight variations in the position of the wire feed gun. You can make a weld the very first time you pull the trigger, but there's more to joining metal than just squirting weld. This is considered a manual wire feed process. Even though the welding equipment does maintain the arc, feed the wire and supply the shielding gas, the welder still needs to control the position of the wire feed gun, the direction of the weld, and the speed of travel. There's also metal preparation and joint fit up. Some of this is technical information and some deals with welder skill. While there isn't anything that's especially difficult or complex, the more you learn both about the welding part of it and the technical aspects, the more efficient and effective you'll be whether you're headed into the welding industry or out into your garage.